Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, happy Monday. It is the start of a new week. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what's going to happen whether I said it or not? Having my coffee. Just woke up a little while ago. Just washed my hair. I think I'm going to hightail it out of here in a little while just to get out. It is a gorgeous day. I wound up yesterday knocking everything out of the park. I did my sheets. I did all my clothing. I just got nothing left to do. And then I was like, while I was waiting for things to happen, I went out on my terrace. I, I uh, washed and scrubbed my terrace uh, cement again because I wanted to set up my furniture for outside, my little patio set. I didn't get my Polynesian furniture this year like I was supposed to do, but hey, things happen, you know? Repa home repairs happen first and that's okay. So we'll shoot again for next year. <laughs> I would like my Polynesian feel out there. I really, I want new brown furniture, a little brown table. I, I want everything to match. But anyway, I still have the old, old and that's fine. So we will run it through again one more year. Um, they are cutting the grass outside, the landscapers. I have my door open. It's warm. It's, it's just beautiful. I sat out there with my coffee a little bit this morning. I just love that in the early morning. I'm, I'm so grateful I could do that again. I, I should have had the furniture out last week, but it just didn't happen. So I did all that while I was doing my other home chores. Then I stripped my bed and then I said, you know what? My mattress pad needs a washing. So I ripped that off the mattress and I decided to wash the mattress pad. Then I had to wait for everything to dry and then put everything back on. I, by the time eight o'clock came last night, I was exhausted. I was exhausted, but I got those things done. Now today I would like to run a little vacuum around, just neaten up just a little bit. My dining room table is still an absolute mess. What am I going to do? A little at a time. You know, it is my castle. So, um, I would, while I was sitting in bed last night watching Shark Tank, I love Shark Tank. I love Shark Tank. Always did. They, they, they are just so, you know, they're investors. I wish I had that money to invest. Don't you wish you could like help, help somebody's career, help somebody become an entrepreneur and just help them along. But meanwhile, get paid back again for what you lent them at the same time. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, forget it. It's, Money well, well used. But being that I'm not an entrepreneur, <laughs> I'm not even an influencer. I, I'm not that kind of a vlogger. But uh, the lady on the Facebook page, I thank you, thank you, thank you. She doesn't know. She has no idea who I am. I have no idea who she is. But she is the lady that came up with the idea of the shower curtain hooks linking your ears to put them on display on the wall great concept. So I started that last night. I was playing around with it. I had to look at the picture and, and go like, use that as a diagram for sort of instructions, because I was like delirious at this point. I, I kept screwing everything up. So it goes like this. You put the shower curtain hook up, then you attach the ear. Then you have this as a spacer. Then you attach another ear and so on and so on and so on. Okay, I'm sitting there linking my shower curtain hooks. I wind up having this. Now, I didn't make this up. I'm sure somebody else out there does this. But it makes a damn good concept. I'm looking at my my bedroom door, which has my nice lounge lights and everything. You, you guys already saw that. But I also have over my bedroom door on a hook, a chain link of magic bands. I said, wait a minute. Now, either I am very overly tired or instead of the shower curtain hooks, I can use the magic bands as a link because I'm cha I am chain link them anyway. So I followed the pattern along and here they are. This is a like a light prototype. I don't know if the ears are going to stay in this order, but here they are. Now, I could still use shower curtain hooks. If I want to get really fancy, maybe I'll just do that because I don't know if the command strip is going to hold this. I may just use for the first one, I may just use a shower curtain hook just to make it thinner and lighter to hold onto the wall and it makes it easier to go onto the command hook. So this is what I came up with so far. You have the first one, you have the one that holds the ear, then you do again, you have the spacer. Look out, they're coming back. Sorry, I have my terrace door open. And um, 
it's it smells like fresh it's fresh cut grass in here it smells so good i i love it i don't i don't have that much sinus problems anymore so anyway this is here this is here i know it's upside down it doesn't matter this here is the spacer and then we continue on again space continue spacer so i think it's looking pretty good I'm killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. I know nobody likes that saying, but hey, I'm old, so that's, I'm old school. So I am killing two things at one time to where I have the ears on display and also doing something with the magic bands because they were on a link chain anyway, I linked them. I have magic bands for over the past 15 years, at least. <laughs> over the past 15 years, I have a load of magic bands, so why not do something useful with them, right? So anyhow, I know they, they're kind of wonky right now because they just hang, but when they're on the wall, I'll situate them a little better. So I have my rose gold ears, which was matching my rose gold lounge fly sequin purple ears matching the purple lounge fly sequin. These ears are the iridescent um, ears. I'll be honest with you, they're big, they're puffy. These are the ears to me that seem to, well, not these so much. These are the ears to me that seem the most heavier and clunkier. I they were great online I got these from my personal shop a years ago but however when I got them home it's just a different concept I really don't care for those ears that much anymore but to have them on display is okay instead of them sitting in a shop I had most of my ears sitting in a shopping bag and then I also have the headband display that I bought on Amazon that that big roll with the head you know I put the headbands those are I'm going to save that because I'm going to put the more heavier ears on there like the nightmare before Christmas like I was explaining to you in my video because it has a little hat with a veil in front and it's got two heavy ears things like that <laughs> as he's passing <laughs> but anyhow I'm a little silly today. I must I must still be tired. So this is what I came up with. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I think it looks good. I just did an updo from the shower curtain. The shower curtain hooks were working wonderful. They really were. They, no, no offense to them. Absolutely not, because this is what gave me the start to do this idea. I'm sure somebody out there also does this. Uh, I didn't just invent this, people, you know. I just thought it was, was cool to do. I do have some more ears. Maybe I won't keep it in such, uh, in this order. Maybe I'll just switch them around, but whatever. These ears were nice too. These were also big and clunky. I remember driving my husband nuts during the Halloween party years ago. I was looking for these ears. Everybody was walking around, where's the ears, where's the ears? They said, check the Emporium. So I checked the Emporium. There was one pair of ears left. So I grabbed them. But again, these will be retired. I won't wear these. I won't wear these. These I may still wear to match my lounge fly, of course, because they are, they are lighter ears and you could see that. These are the more thicker ones and you could see the difference. There you go. These are the more thicker ones. You could see the difference, but they are heavier. So while I am playing around with that, I up drove my idea. <laughs> okay, um, as far as Disney news, oh boy, oh boy. I listened to a um, online podcast through YouTube and I will give you the name. I'm going to leave the link in my description box here below underneath my video. I will leave that link, please look for it. It is a very interesting listen to and they are called Main Street Moments and they are a husband and wife team. They also do videos as well. The husband does videos and everything. He's he's a vlogger. Um, but they do have a sit down podcast. You don't see them on the podcast. You just listen to it. So I like that. So last night they came up they came up with a new podcast and uh, they were mentioning the situation with DeSantis and Disney. And we knew it was going to happen. People were slamming me telling me that this could never happen. Disney has their own inspectors. This can't happen. You don't know what you're talking about. It's going to happen. He, as soon as that bill, that paper went on his desk, he signed it. The Florida, um, whatever that company is, I forgive me, I can't remember. I don't know all highfalutin terms because that doesn't matter to me. But the Florida people are coming in. They will be inspecting the monorail system. It's going to happen, folks. Me, I am ecstatic for this. I think this should happen. Why can't this happen? Who said that it can't happen? Ha. Victory is mine because it's going to happen. I say 
for the next thing. I say this is going to open up a whole big can of worms. And people, when that, when that can gets open, a lot of people may not like what they find or see or hear about. Also was mentioned the accident on the monorail from a past few years ago. It's not, it's, I don't even know if that's 10 years. Was that 10 years ago? Could be eight years. It doesn't matter when it happened, but I remember the uh, young man, the monorail driver who was killed because his monorail slammed into the back of another monorail. And he was instantly, he was, he was killed on impact. God, God bless him in, in heaven. He was a, a nice man. I do know people who rode with him on the monorail. And it was very upsetting for my friend's son because he had met him and has pictures with him. So that's a that's a, a beautiful memory, but it's also a tragic memory because the you know his mother had to explain to him that he won't see his friend anymore on the monorail. That's that's that was that's rough. Um, so that case I want to know because it's going to be intertwined. That case they also mentioned may just be opened again because there was really never an ending to that situation. Here we go. You're going to open up old wounds. Peel that Band-Aid off. That wound is still under there. And I say rightfully so. Yes, get it out in the open. And again, I say to Disney, if you got nothing, if you are confident in what you are doing to keep this company well going and well working and you're making guests happy and giving the guests the best possible experience, then you got nothing to worry about. Let them in. That's it. It's done. I'm ecstatic for this. This should happen. And if this doesn't happen because it's going to happen with the monorails, because the monorails, they are saying, are in bad condition. Now, you think to yourselves as guests, here comes the rose-colored glasses again. Here comes the guests. I mean, you don't care what's broken. You people don't seem to care what's not working. You don't care, but it's just as long as you have that magical Disney trip and you make the best of everything and everything is okay in your world. Well, I got news for you. It's not okay in your world. It's not. A, things are breaking down down there. Um, people ain't acting right. I still say inspectors that work for the amusement parks... How many of them, and I'm just going to say, how many of them turn a blind eye to these things? How many of them do see problems, but the situations magically disappear? That's all I'm going to say. And don't think it doesn't, it, it happens everywhere in the world. Let's put it that way. It just doesn't happen with this. I'm not just, I'm not just stabbing at them. It happens with all job sites. Let's put it that way. Certain things do get overlooked. Come on. Come on. Okay. Um... So this is going to happen. We just don't know when it's going to happen. I just have a smile. I can't help it. I smile on my face because a lot of people told me, oh, I can't have that go. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to come back at you. Um, yes, it is happening. It is happening. And again, the uh, YouTube channel is Main Street Moments. I will put the link in my description box because I think you guys need to hear this. They, they are very, they're, they're very good. They sit and they discuss and they're informative. Um, uh, could this be that maybe the rides will be next? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think they all need to be inspected. I think there should be new laws that these things need to be inspected. I mean, you're putting your life on these machines. You're putting your life in these machines. You're putting your life... I mean, just because they refurbish the inside of the monorail means absolute crap to me. You're sitting on the inside. I told you last year it was raining on me during the rainstorm. It was raining heavy. We were on that monorail. I was getting rained on. Somebody had said that that was the air conditioning. It was not the air conditioning. That was dirty water that was hitting my arm, growing down my arm, and it was warm water, uh, obviously because of the heat. But somebody said, oh, that's the air conditioner. First of all, it would be it would be clear and cold if that was the air conditioner. This wasn't air conditioner. This was a leak coming through the ceiling of the monorail. I will never forget this. Just because you remodel the inside means absolute crap to me, okay? Let's get it going, Disney. Wake up. And wake up to everybody that is wearing those magical glasses. Take them off and really get a gander of where you are. You know, look around. 
I think things are going to be happening. I think things are going to be happening for the good. For the good of us guests, at least. Because this way, you will actually... Oh, God, there's that word. You will see and you will hear for yourselves the reports. Hopefully, the reports will be coming. I'm, I'm sure the reports will be coming our way as part of news media. I'm not talking about vloggers. Vloggers, by the way, are probably going to have a field day with this. If by any chance something is wrong, which... I'm saying there's, there's a lot wrong. They will find a lot. They will find a lot of things. I'm sorry. They will. They're already finding things in Disneyland with, um, I believe it's duct tape. Um, I do have that article as well. Maybe I will post that article in the link below also. Remember, certain websites I do not believe and I do not listen to, but the ones that I trust... I will pass along to you guys, and I will I will do that. That's that's going to be my thing to you guys. It is just it. See, these are the things for me. These are the things for me. I mean, mechanical issues. Yeah, you know, everything breaks, but everything's been breaking too damn fast down there, and and a lot, and a lot. Take that into consideration. You're spending good money. We're all spending good money to go down there and enjoy this magical place that. If they had a better magic wand, I think things would be working a lot better in their favor. Does DeSantis, now as much as I don't care for his ways, as much as I don't care for being a governor, okay, he's not my governor because I'm up here in New York. God forbid, folks, he may just be president of the United States if he starts running for, for the presidency. Remember, he's supposed to be bucking for that, okay? So not only that, but we all, we all may be... <laughs> We all may be in for it if he becomes the president of the United States. <laughs> um, yeah, so just because he's the governor, just because people don't like him, many do like him, okay? Even though he had a quiff with Disney and this thing is ongoing, he does, I will give him this, he does have a point with this. I'm sorry, he is the governor. He can, he can allow this to happen, and he is. And as soon as that paper hit past his desk, he, he gladly signed it. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. Let's find out the real truth of what's going on if we find out. I think we need to find out. Everybody needs to find out. Your money, your dollars, your hard-earned money is going to pay for these vacations. Don't you want to make sure that you are safe down there while you are on a ride in a monorail on the Skyway? I mean, the Skyway crashed how many times? Come on. And that was, that was in its first year. That was in its first few months of running. Come on. Come on. These things, you know, you take your life. I feel that when we come down there right now, as it, as it stands, we take our life in our own hands when we go on these things. I'm a little bit skittish on these rides. Who's inspecting these rides? Really? Is it a real inspector or did you get your certificate from a computer? Did you print it out on the computer? I mean, come on. It's, it's just these things that I think of. Okay. Are you really legit or what? I guess we will find out. And for the people who doubted me, that's on you. I told you it's going to happen. I told you it could happen. So right now we're going to do the monorails. I'm bucking for moving up and actually inspecting these rides. And, you know, somebody put out a point to me. They says, oh, well, you know, DeSantis is just picking on Disney. You know what? Disney, and I'll be honest with you, as much as I am a fan of Disney, come on, people, think. Disney has gotten away with a lot over the years. They have their own government. They have their own fire station. They have their own emergency city. They have their own inspectors. They have their own this. They have their own land. It's time to open those gates and walk out. Disney needs to, I feel that Disney needs to join the rest of the society. Pop the bubble and join the rest of society just because you are in your own cocoon and it took years and years and years to do this to be noticed as hey you know what something may be something may not be right with disney i think the governor has every right to do this he's a governor he's a governor he's i i feel that as much as he, they're going back and forth with this and button heads i this is his job to do this he's doing his job I will give him kudos on that. I don't like everything that he does for this. Yes, I think this needs to happen. This needs to happen. So I will be very eager to find out when this is going to happen. Somebody says, we don't know if it's going to be, you know, I mean, it'll be on the evening news down there. Like I said, vloggers are going to have a field day with this. 
I don't care what the vloggers say. I, I want to know the actual news. Whether WDWNT will report it, which I like Walt Disney World News today, Main Street Moments, you know. I'm not talking about a little vlogger that runs around the park, you know, all day. But I'm talking about the real deal news. And I'll be keeping my eye on West 2 News definitely for that because I, like I like their news station down there. It's like our Channel 4 up here. Anyway, folks, I'm going to get going. I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing here. I'm going to assess some of the other ears. I don't want to make a whole big project thing out of it now because it's gonna. I'm going to get involved in it. I just need to neat my little castle up, get dressed, and see if I could just head out. Maybe I'll have some lunch. All right, people. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. What are your views on this? See, I love, I love when I'm right on this because many people stepped on me and went against me on this. this to me, this is a personal victory. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yes. Have a wonderful, wonderful start of the week. Happy Monday. Take care. See you soon. Have a magical day, <laughs> wherever you are.